I'm cutting through the mall parking lot. Kind of a shortcut. I have an 8.30 appointment for my van inspection this morning, so I'm heading there. It's, what I, did I tell you what time? <laughs> it's uh, 7.45 right now. So my appointment's at 8.30. Should get there plenty of time. I'm just cutting through the parking lot here. Besides, I like this. I wanted to show you something, if I can. <clears throat> so my van should be all set for inspection. I shouldn't need anything. Got all new brakes on it. My son kind of checked over the ball joints and all that kind of stuff. Nothing seems to be wrong. So it should be pretty quick in and out. I don't know what they charge. So far I got... Well, my brakes were... Here's what I wanted to show you. This, See this stuff straight ahead of us? On the ground here, the... All them weeds, them brown colored weeds, weeds, right there. All that stuff, all that brown right along the bottom. That's a, that's all goldenrod. And boy, I'll tell you, that's a, every, a lot of people mentioned, they thought I had a cold or a runny nose. And I, I was getting sick, but I'm not. That's what it is, that stuff wreaks havoc with your sinuses at least for some people anyway and I, I'm one of them people I guess <laughs> yeah. it's worse in springtime but that's the way that is I guess so anyhow we're gonna go, go get the inspection shouldn't take long this place I'm going to is pretty good I've been having them do whatever I need done I've been going to this same place now for about a year anyway then I talked to my mother last night on the phone and I told her I'd be up after I got my inspection done so we'll go visit my mother I'll try and get some footage of her if she wants to be on camera if she's all fixed up if she's not all made up then she'll be she won't want to be on camera uh, my brother and his wife were they've been on vacation somewhere I don't know I think uh, maybe Myrtle Beach or one of them beaches They've been out for gone for a couple weeks now. I think they're coming. I think they're coming back Saturday. But they they would stop and see her every. They used to go every day. Now they go about every other day. But my mother's missing seeing them. And my cousin lives up here in town. She's been in a big truck brand new cars. I'd like to hijack that truck. Take them cars. Put them in my garage. Anyway, they've been gone, so my cousins were taking, stopping in and filling in the blank there for my mother. So we're, we're going to go do that today. And nothing else going on hang out with my mother probably till probably till around lunchtime so stick around how's that look sunrise over Dubois PA that's the uh, I don't know what that is in front of us well that's the sunrise anyway so I'm up here Cooper tires, naturally, I'm early at 7, well, 7.59. So I got a half hour yet. Cooper's is right down. I can see the sign right here. So I'll just wait here and hang out. Run the heater for a while. It's cold this morning, 48 right now. I don't know what it got down to last night. It was 
There was no ice on the windshield, but 48 right now. Looks like cloudy skies, but I don't think they're predicting any rain till tomorrow. I think, oh, I know what's in front of us. That's the, uh, what is that? Looks like a, a park, the Dubois Park. With a YMCA, something like that there. Looks like a stadium, a little state, or a baseball field or something there. I don't know. Anyway, looks kind of pretty. Don't have no beach in Dubois, so that's the best I can do for you. Sunrise in Dubois. Not too many people have a video of the sunrise in Dubois, Pennsylvania. That's for sure. So, like I said, everything should be all set. I actually I went laid in a chill. Laid in the recliner last night about 7. No, what time did I lay in the recliner? About, well, actually, about 3 in the morning. And I set my alarm for 7. Did I, uh, 7. And I got up and I had a quick coffee. And then I jumped in a van to head up here. So I'm feeling pretty good this morning. I did get a good half a decent sleep there for what, four hours anyway. I think uh, cutting back on coffee certainly helped my sleep a little. That's for sure. So I just had a quick coffee this morning turn the news on and make sure nobody blew anything up so far as well not I shouldn't say that in California the in Los Angeles the Dodgers fans since the Dodgers made a hit won the World Series the Dodgers fans set a bus on fire and they're out rioting on the streets I guess win or lose they're out rioting, just like next Tuesday, I think. Anyway, so that was in the news this morning. And we'll find out what goes what goes on the rest of the day. What is today? Thursday. Yes, yeah, I had a look at my watch. So it's Thursday. And uh, I'll get back to you. Taking immuno 150. The pain and inflammation in my joints. Well, I got it done. There's the old place. Right there, Cooper Tire. That's where I went. $52.14. It didn't need anything. No light bulbs, no nothing. Good to go for another year. kind of running around on the back roads here a little bit on my way to the that's a neat looking tree there ain't it growing out over the road like that turn some heat on it's cold get the heat going and where are we I don't know where we're at Okay, I know. now I know. Now I know. I'm heading over to the nursing home, seeing my mother. Hope she's doing good today. It was really funny. Well, it wasn't funny, but last Sunday, I think it was, she called me on the phone and she seemed completely like she used to be 20 years ago. Her voice was steady and straight. She was, knew what she was talking about. And then the last couple times I talked to her, she was sounded weak and confused. 
they have checked her for a UTI. I know a lot of folks said about checking her for a UTI. She has been checked for that. She's not, she doesn't have that, so. But she did have a, remember the last time I said she fell down, and at first they said, at least the word I got was, that she didn't have another seizure, but now they said that she did have a seizure. I don't know what the difference is between a stroke and a seizure. I did ask the doctor there well, months ago when she was in the hospital. And he said there is a difference, but he didn't tell me what the difference was. But now they say she did have a seizure. Definitely affected her mental state. So we'll see what she's like today. There's a house up here. Right up here. I don't know if I can get it on film real good or not on camera. It's right up here. See that house right there? Kind of a tan colored house. Look at all the decorations they have out. Lots and lots of them. A lot of skeletons and a cow skeleton looks like. A saber tooth tiger or something. They got about a thousand dollars worth of decorations out there. If not more. Because I know them big skeletons are like... I saw one at Walmart. It was like a almost a normal size human skeleton. It was like 65 bucks. So... They must be big fans of Halloween. I am too, but I don't have enough money to spend on that. And I'm not going out in the yard and doing all that stuff. Some people... Even for uh, Christmas and Easter and stuff, they put those, there's one right there, they put those big inflatables out. Big inflatable decorations. And then they, they, uh, they, don't must, they don't last very long. The next morning they're all deflated. There's another nice house there. There wasn't somebody here last year, I think it was that first house with all the decorations somebody here had a <coughs> skeleton that must have been 20 or 25 feet tall it was as tall as her house can't imagine what something like that would cost but I guess if you enjoy Halloween I still didn't carve my pumpkins out yet Maybe today, I keep saying saying that, but I never do. At any rate, I've got to get the guts out because I want the seeds for, uh, I want to dry the seeds and make, you know, uh, clean off all the seeds and put them in the oven and bake, have uh, baked, whatever you call them, roasted, roasted seeds. I gotta do that probably today. Well, here we are at the nursing home. Well, they're putting up a Christmas tree. Well, that's a big one. That's a nice Christmas tree. Oh boy, I got hiccups again. Oh, I wonder what they have in the in the building for. They probably have a bunch of trees in the inside. I wonder if my mother got a Christmas tree in her room. I have a small one. I should have brought it up. I never thought of it. Darn it. Well, there's time, still time before Christmas. When I get home, I'll uh, I'll get that little tree out I have and put it on the table so I can bring it up. 
Okay, we're here. This morning. No, it's Saturday, isn't it? Oh, I thought they, I thought you went every morning down there. Oh yeah, well, no, he comes in now, and he gives me communion in my room. Yeah. Well, ever since I fell. Oh. But before that, I was going, to, I was going there. Yeah. Does he? He doesn't come every day here, does he? No. He comes on Wednesday. Oh. And gives communion. Oh, I see. And you, do you remember Wayne? No. Well, he fell, and he broke his back. No. Oh. And so he's in a hospital over there on the other side, and he well, had to have an operation. Who's Wayne? Wayne who? Well... Wayne, what? The guy that used to come in the kitchen. <clears throat> Just leaving the nursing home. 12 o'clock, my mother went down to the dining area for uh, lunch. She's uh, we're sort of confused again today. One day, the next. I don't know. <clears throat> she walking pretty good. I had, I had to tell her to slow down going up the hallway there. <coughs> I don't know how well she's going to do. She's running into stuff and getting her walker stuck on things. Then she doesn't know what to do because she can't see. Her vision is pretty much gone now. I think she can't hardly see anything. And then she was, when I first went in, she was squeezing one of them little balls that you get to exercise your hands with. And she said she can't feel anything with her hands now. We had a phone call while we were in there and I had to tell her the phone was ringing. She couldn't hear it. She had her hearing aids in too, but I don't know about them stupid hearing aids. Doesn't seem like they do much good for the thousands of dollars that they cost. My brother did all that, so I don't know what they cost, but I know they weren't cheap, that's for sure. Sometimes she doesn't have them in and she doesn't seem to be much difference. Part of it is, part of it I think is that she's, I don't not, I don't want to say not paying attention, but she's trying to, she's trying to solve your problem before you even tell her you have a problem. And no matter what you say, she thinks that you're having a problem. <clears throat> like my inspection here on the van, she was for days and days now. And <clears throat> when I told her I needed to put brakes on, she thinks that they were completely shot and the van was undrivable and that she couldn't go anywhere. I kept trying to tell her they're just wore down, they need replaced, I can still drive. But she can't seem to comprehend certain things like that. <clears throat> That's partly my dad's fault, too. He was... Well, that's a whole other subject to get into. He was uh, pretty tough on my mother and everybody else, too. See all the leaves there laying on the road. I think up here in Dubois, <clears throat> I know it's that way in a lot of cities, but I think you have to rake your leaves and put them in bags and stuff, and you get a ticket. You get fined if you don't. 
I know they have like a you have to cut your grass too if your grass gets too long you can get a you can get a fine for that but I guess it's that way in a lot of cities where I live there's nothing like that grass can get up to your waist and nobody nobody can say anything about it <clears throat> Look at that green car. That's that's a bright color green for a car. A little car. That's where my dentist appointment is, that big building right there on the left. Not until January twenty third now, I think. I finally got that straightened out with my insurance. They said my insurance wouldn't cover the dentist appointment, but it does. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Took my flannel off before I even went to my mother's. Warmed up nice. It feels like rain. It feels like it's going to rain, but... They're not calling for any rain, but you never know. It smells like rain, too. 349 for gas. 349 a gallon. 429 for premium. <clears throat> Notice there's a lot of help on its signs up. That car wash back there, and <clears throat> almost all the restaurants up here have help on its signs. That's the school on the right hand side. We you can't see it from here, but the elevator. The uh, junior high school, I think. Or, I don't know how that works anymore. <clears throat> I don't know if they have all the way to 12th grade there or not. I don't... When I went to school, we had elementary school was 1 through 6. And that was down at Penfield. And then 7th grade was a school up here in Dubois just that one year, and then 8th and ninth grade was another building, another school, and then high school, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, I went to tech school in Reynoldsville, the Bo Tech School. Oh, everybody's out in the yard from the school, they're playing soccer or something, or just a recess, I guess. It's, yeah, it's, well, I guess they're out there for lunch. Maybe that's like it was when I was in high school, in Votex school. There's a famous four-way stop that nobody knows what the hell to do. <clears throat> when I was in high school, when it was lunchtime, we could go outside and do whatever we wanted to. We didn't have to eat lunch. If you had a car and you were old enough, you could even drive to, you know, Burger King or something and get a hamburger. Not that we had Burger King where I went to school, but I just mean you could leave if you wanted to and come back. I don't know if it's like that anymore. I don't even remember if we got an hour for lunch or a half hour. I know we used to, the friends I had back then, we used to go in the cafeteria and grab, you could get whatever they were serving or they also had like candy bars and crackers and stuff like that. So we'd all go in and grab 
couple packs of crackers and then go outside. Stand around outside, eat the crackers, and then smoke cigarettes. You were allowed to smoke it. Not in the school, but you were allowed to smoke outside the parking lot. Nineteen seventy six is when I graduated. Oh my, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get home. Nothing. Nothing planned, I don't think. Again, once again I'm gonna stop at the Dollar General. Did a couple things. got enough food for Stewie. I got a case of tuna the other day. Thank you for that. I remember who sent that. I don't remember. I have to look back through the comments. But thank you for that. I also got a card from Paul, I think of Paul, yeah. Thanks you for the card. He used to live around in Rockton, I guess. And he said he wants to come back when he retires. I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh my. This place on the right hand side, it's a, I don't know what it is now, but it used to be a little drive in restaurant called Bailey's. You know, you pull in, park your car, then you'd order at the window, and then they'd call your number and you'd go up and get the stuff and eat in your car. It was called Bailey's. And they had the best ever hot dog sauce, chili sauce. The best ever. to go there all the time when we were younger kids when I was dating my first wife and all that best hot dog sauce ever that recipe for that hot dog sauce some people claim to have it and I've done it before I've got but it doesn't taste anywhere near the same so I don't know if that recipe is disappeared with the people that owned it or not. But it was really, really good. I used to get two hot dogs, french fries, and a Coke. Boy, I wish I could remember what it cost back then. Probably for two hot dogs of French fries and a Coke back then probably was like a buck fifty. I, I can't remember. I wish I could. Not anymore. All the there was two of those rest those kind of restaurant type things where you just pull up in your car and order food, but they're both gone. Now there's nowhere like that anymore. Gotta wonder why, you know. I don't know what changed. They were so popular back then and now they're not anymore. That's three fifty-five for gas there, that's six cents more. Alrighty, well, I'm on my way home. So probably see you all tomorrow, nothing else going on. I keep saying I'm going to make a video carving my pumpkins out. Haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll say it again. Maybe tonight. So I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's got a beautiful day like we have here. Stay frosty.